Hey y'all, it's Natalie for Not Just For Boys Kit Club this week, and I am using the Aurora Limitless Kit. I am scrapbooking um, these photos of me and my family on formal night on our recent cruise that we took in the fall. And so I'm just gonna go through all the papers in the kit to decide which background paper I would like to use. Um, please excuse my voice. I've been under the weather and it is lingering. It's been a week now and I'm over it. I need this cold gone. <laughs> But I decided to go with that paper right there. It is from Uniquely Creative, and I think it's called High Tea is the name of the paper. And I'm going to use the cardstock cut that comes with the Aurora Limitless Kit, and it says Family. And I have three photos of us that I took on the balcony before we went down to dinner in our formal wear. <clears throat> and then I have a photo of the sunset from the balcony as well. So I decide that I want to back the word family with that really dark purple, really large ephemera piece from the Viken ephemera set, which is from by 49th and Market, which is part of the um, Aurora kit. So we're going to start with that. <clears throat> and we're going to, I'm using my Nuvo adhesive, which I also got from the Not Just For Boys Kit Club store. And I highly recommend Nuvo adhesive. It is my go-to liquid glue. And um, I was able to cut out the top four letters with this. And then I will use the right side of the ephemera piece to cut the other two um, bottom letters, just as long as I have them going the same direction as far as the lines. I think that um, it's not really noticeable that it wasn't one full sheet. And then I use my X-Acto knife to cut out the inside pieces as well. And they did include the um, triangle from the A, but I didn't really remember to go back and add that. That's just not really something that I typically do anyway. I'm not real big on dotting the I's or adding the insides of the letters and I'm cool with that. <laughs> so um, we're gonna kind of figure out how I would like to lay all these out. I pull out the um, little slide um, frames here from the Viking ephemera kit and there's three that are this like lovely green floral um, pattern they're just but they're different patterns which is nice and so I decided to use all three of those um, I had two by three photos um, cut and so I you know I'm just cutting off the waist that I should have cropped out anyway that was the roof of the balcony or whatever from where I before I found the best camera angle so I'm just adding a, um, tape to the top and bottom of those and sticking them down to the photos now I am figuring out which layering pieces from the ephemera kit that I would like to use. So I used that same dark purple piece that I had left over to um, kind of give some cohesion to the page by adding it elsewhere on the page. These are Pink Fresh Studio Alphas um, that come in the, uh, in the Aurora kit. So I decided to use them to add to family as the title. So it's going to say Fresh and Fancy Family because we were just, you know, freshly showered and looking feeling our best in our fancy formal wear um, to go to the formal night at dinner, which my kids were atrocious at dinner basically every night. You would never know it from those cute little faces in the photos, but they were. <laughs> um, let's see what we got going on here. So now I decided I wanna do some sewing. I'm a little lazy sometimes when it comes to getting out my sewing machine, but it really does add to the page. So I decide, you know what? It's like the formal night page. I'm going to do it. So I just use my scissors to cut off some sections around the page. I do um, four just random little pieces on the edges on either, uh, all four sides. And I'm going to use my edge distressor and I'm going to distress um, the background paper all the way around, but focus to specifically um, do a heavy distress on the sections that I just cut out. And then I'm going to pull a piece of purple paper from my stash that goes really nicely with this Aurora kit. I actually think it's from the Viking collection, which is um, the same ephemera, uh, the same collection that the ephemera is in the Aurora kit. Um, but it's just a solid ish purple piece, that one right there. And so I'm just going to cut a couple of strips from that to back the cutouts that I just did and distressed. And then off screen, I will sew around the background paper and that will help to attach those fully. I'm, I'm using a little bit of um, adhesive to attach those to the back, but I won't um, 
really stress about it being very strong because I'm going to sew around the edges. So I will do an eggplant um, thread in my sewing machine and then I will go around all the way around the page and go around my cutouts and then I will go back around the parts that are not cut out and do a double stitch kind of thing and just kind of overlap and it's just like a messy stitching look that I have used many a time and um, it's kind of my go-to stitching. <clears throat> so I'm just uh, making sure I have straight edges on these last two pieces that I'm using to back the cutouts. And it just um, kind of adds a pop of purple around the edges that will really nicely mimic the purple that I used to back the um, cardstock cut that comes with the, with the um, kit. And so I just like to add that around the edges. You could, another way, if you don't have a sewing machine that you could add it is, well, I mean, you don't have to sew. You of course could just do the cutouts and add it. And I could have stopped right there and not have to add the stitching as, at all. But I did like the extra um, added dimension and texture that the stitching adds. Um, you could also just ink up the edges of the background paper. If you weren't into the really distressed look, you could just add a purple ink. Um, one of the add-ons that you could do to the Aurora kit was the Dusty Concord Distress Oxide. And I did get that and you'll actually see me bust it out here in a minute. And it is such a beautiful color that really mimics the purple in this kit and works really great with it. So I decide to um, pop up the cardstock cut with some foam tape. So that's what I'm doing here is backing um, the cut file with that. And I'm going to go ahead and commit and sticking that to there. And I did change up the way I um, had my photos. So I'm putting the large three by four photo at the bottom of that column. And then the two um, framed bits at the top. I'm just roughing up the edges of those ephemera bits that I am using to layer up behind the photo. And there's the dusty Concord distress oxide. Isn't it the perfect purple color? It's just really fabulous. So um, I'm using that to ink up the edges of the distressed ephemera and um, I just added a couple pieces of foam tape to that sunset frame because um, I'm going to overlap it a little bit with the cut file and so I wanted it to be even and not kind of bring it down um, having it flush up against the background paper and I pulled a couple of pieces of the Viking ephemera out and I'm going to add that little tag there to kind of hide where I cut out that purple um, to back the cut file. Um, and it'll just be a nice little addition to the top of that photo. I think it said a night to remember or something like that. And I use my tiny attacher to add that to the label. I'm also going to use some foam tape to bring it up to the same level as the cardstock cut and the other frame down there. A time to remember is what it says. So I'm going to link down below with the links to the Aurora Limitless Kit. The last time I looked, there are still a few available in the store, but you better grab them quick. Some of the add-ons are already sold out. Um, there are additional bits in this kit that I think you can only get if you get the kit, including the Aurora Bobbles, which you will see me use at the end. And they're so great. Um, they have this beautiful gold leaf in them. Oh, they're beautiful. I love them so much. So... I am roughing up the edges of the other two frames with the photos inside and then adding the dusty concord ink around those. I'm just layering those atop the larger photo there and I'm really happy with how those look. Now I'm going to use my new adhesive to add just additional uh, adhesive to these puffy alphas because um, I don't ever want to be flipping through my albums and find alphas off to the bottom. So I almost always add the adhesive to my um, alphas. So I'm just going to run it up the side of the cut file and then it also sticks off a little bit so that's another reason to add the uh, extra adhesive because the top part is sticking off a little bit so just to give it a little extra hold there so now i'm just going to pick a few pieces of the viken ephemera out to add around the page and um just put additional color in so i'm going to put that ticket stub under there and i try to figure out where to put this one and I actually just trim off some of it so that I can stick it behind the um, photo down there because I already stuck the foam tape underneath it. So I can't just slide it directly under the um, photo there because it has foam tape and that stuff is pretty strong and impenetrable. So I just trim my ephemera and stick it right on top and you'll never know. 
but I like that it just kind of lines it up and adds that turquoisey blue color in a couple of places. I will also add that turquoise blue color around with those bubbles that you can see over there on the left. Oh, I forgot I used this. Um, this was one of the three acrylic, um, I think it's called a trio, an Aurora acrylic trio, um, but I am a sucker for the acrylic pieces that have the inlays that have more than one color on them. So this one is a gorgeous clear acrylic piece with gold leaf and then the inlay um, just as a heart and you so love you and it's purple which I love purple I know some people have an aversion to purple in their scrapbooking but I am all about it when um, collections add purple so I love it I feel like it's unique I don't we don't see it a ton so um, I'm here for it so I just used my new adhesive to add in those two pieces inside the acrylic but I also use just you can see that red line tape at the, at the top that's what I used to stick down the clear piece because um, it is clear and it holds really well so now I'm just um, adding the bobbles with my Nuvo adhesive and we're going to call it a day. That's it. Hope you guys are inspired um, with how to create with this Aurora Limitless Kits by Not Just For Boys Kit Club. Check out the links down below. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. Bye y'all. Thanks for watching.